Hi everybody, live from Huntsville. It's flea market time. Here in the flea market, we start off with Wire Man. Wire Man's at every ham fest pretty much. If you're having a yard sale, I think the Wire Man would show up. But typical Wire Man stuff. Got some jewelry right here. More jewelry. You're going to run into jewelry at a ham fest. Got to please mama. I'm letting you come and spend all your money. All right. One good thing about the Huntsville Ham Fest, and most of your good, reputable ham fests, is they have these test benches here. You can come set up or test your equipment, make sure you got a good buy on your stuff. Back on this side here. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Old school portable TV. I ain't gonna do anything anymore. Five seventy. Check that out, ain't that cool? Turns out you are. Battery signal link G90 and the antenna all right there ready to go. Pretty cool.
computer parts and different things. Those of you that may have came to last year's Huntsville Ham Fest, this is exactly where we were set up. Got some ham sticks right here. $30 each. Oops. So you all aren't seeing it, but one thing that I got here at Huntsville is a brand new gimbal. Well, new to me gimbal. Uh, this is not a DJI Ronin, but it's very, very similar to the Ronin. Got Transel Corporation there. Right up there so you can see the sign. Pointers and little gadgets. There's a solar power ba battery bank for 30 bucks. Oh my gosh. Fangirled there for a minute. That's uh, amazing. Uh, Destin Sandlin. D I don't think he's a ham. Maybe he is. But uh, smarter every day. Guys, incredible content that he produces. Incredible interviews. Incredible stories. Uh, yeah, he's going to make you smarter every day. So go, go check out Smarter Every Day. Make sure you subscribe as well. You're going to love his content. Puts out so much good stuff. So we're still working through the bone yard here. That is incredible. Sorry guys, I'm still fangirling just a little bit. It was awesome. All right, so typical boneyard items, bunch of older radios, but some new, I'm not seeing a bunch of antique type stuff in it. It depends on how you define antique, but uh, I'm not seeing that kind of stuff anymore. So, uh, I mean, there's some, but it's not overwhelmingly antique stuff. HF rigs there. Microphones. There's your flex. A little bit more antique type stuff. We've got tubes and little tools and things over there on that table. These are cool, antiquated today compared to technology. These are cool. This is an FTDX 3000, 750 bucks. Not terrible. It's got that older, the only reason I wouldn't consider that is it's got the older, display that looks a lot like the 991 display. That's not attractive to me. I would rather have 
the, um, I would rather have the uh, display like the 710 or the FTDX10 has on it. All right, so we got around the main portion of the flea market. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna put a stop on this one here. Turn the camera and let you look at me. I'm gonna put a stop on this one right here. We'll come back with another portion of the flea market in the next video. Stay tuned.